way when you call her. You have me with a spell, I'm just the biggest something small. Uh-huh. You know me of your week, because they really something tall. Uh-huh. Listen up, in love with you, you know me now. This is the Scar City Studios YouTube channel. Please don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. For over two years, we've been covering cases where people have been convicted with evidence used from EncroChat. We've also highlighted everything that has been pointed out that may be wrong with the evidence that has been used to convict people. Currently, there are several different court cases ongoing and appeals in the Supreme Court in France and also a really interesting story from Portugal that we're going to discuss later on today on the channel. And also, don't forget to check out the previous coverage from the NCA trial where they've been accused of not sharing the correct information and intercepting the messages as they should have done. EncroChat is very complicated and it's meant to be complicated. They don't want you to understand what this may mean in relation to the breaches of human rights. But even with appeals ongoing in court, people are still being convicted with the evidence. The most recent one is a dancehall artist from Birmingham called Raul Eastwood. His stage name was Champers. And West Midlands police have said that he used the encrypted network to set up large drug deals across Birmingham and also London. The 38-year-old artist appeared on media channel GRM Daily and also his own YouTube channel. And his debut single was mixed by Maxim from Prejudy. But the police say EncroChat messages revealed that he was running a large-scale drug dealing enterprise alongside Dakari Thomas, 37 years old, and Zayden Jao, Raphael. The court heard the trio used phone messaging and they believed that the EncroChat network provided security. Law enforcement agencies had already hacked EncroChat and they were recovering messages and using this to locate people who were using the handsets. The police said in a statement that Eastwood and Thomas were using the handles Moral Racer and Regent Cliff, and they discussed moving large quantities of heroin and cocaine. In the messages, they made arrangements to sell kilos from between 37 to 40,000 pound. Eastwood was arrested on July the 15th at his home address in Oxhill Road, Handsworth, and police seized 53,000 pound alongside an Audi A5 and a BMW X6. Police also recovered images of him appearing at BBC Radio One Extra and information that implicated Raphael in the drug conspiracy. Raphael is from Colchester and he was arrested in Essex by police on October the 6th, 2020. Police recovered £6,000 and also bank statements that showed that he'd purchased a boat and other sizeable money transfers. Thomas was later detained on the 4th of November in Sutton Coldfield and he tried destroying his phones before the police retrieved them and they said that they belonged to Regent Cliff. Police also seized a Rolex watch valued at 14000 all three of them went on to admit conspiracy from December 2017 to July 2020 and they were jailed for a combined total of 32 years. Eastwood was jailed for 16 years, Raphael for 10, Thomas was jailed for 6 years and 9 months. Detective Constable David Wilson said these were significant players that were moving large amounts of drugs and causing untold damage in the community. They thought their drug dealing was beyond the reach of police but today we have revealed that that isn't the case. They will also be trying to take more money and property from them using the proceeds of Crime Act. So I really appreciate you joining me for this update and I'll be back again later with some more EncroChat news relating to the Supreme Court. Road boy, road boy, what you telling me? Girl, me a pre, me no one a felony.